Hello and welcome to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode. This is going to be the Paletto Score Setup. Let's get this thing started! It'll begin in just a second. you got here oh yeah it's easy to mock isn't it huh cheap and fucking easy but uh this this here is my place and my work paid for my place all right relax i was just being sarcastic yeah well don't be all right because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm it's the blight of the age yeah i get the point you i don't get the point you're like every other asshole you made a bit of money you became a turd I got news for you i was always a turd no you weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? But because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? You again. Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Oh, my God, I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking a right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bay. All right. Alright, going to Polito Bay. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Alright, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. He 
people always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Uh, some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. <laughs> I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. Trying to wind me up. And I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. That made my point. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> Should we start a hashtag? Hashtag Trevor is a hipster. <laughs> Sorry, Trevor. Just kidding. <laughs> Proto hipster. <laughs> Never mind. I'll change the subject. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> that was kind of an interesting ride. We're almost there anyway. Probably not right there. Alright, right here. The bus stops up here. Alright. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.?
I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. There we go. <clears throat> hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, the car's this way. Try up here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Shall we? Might as well get started. Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It takes us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Mm, hang on. scanner and drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor of shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. Second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. That cop's garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Hmm. Don't move.
So I'm gonna fall off the goddamn bike. That's all I don't want to do. Whoa, that was really close. Almost there. Huh. All right, that's the Polito score set up. <laughs> think all right that's that mission for you hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching everybody